Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we have a lot of good stuff to cover on Nvidia and Tesla. We'll also take a look at my day trading bots performance and we'll jump into QQ and SPY as well. So a lot of good stuff happening in this video. So please hit the like and subscribe and stick till the very end for all the needed information on the key levels, the price action and what are we expecting these things to do on intraday and swing side of the place, right? So let's start it off. So we're starting with Nvidia today. So let me just show you around real quick few things first. So I'll just turn this off. I have my day trading bot open. So today was a great day on Nvidia by my bot as well. And guys, uh, this is something you can see on the left side is a last 15 days of performance of my day trading bot. And then this pretty much gives signals in the real time on the chart here. So. Nvidia was such a great signal today like it gave it at the bottom pretty much the buying signal and took all the profits out for you by the you know the end of the day not the end of the day sorry end of the high of the day right so very close but again you can adjust these settings there are a couple of settings you can customize here I'm adding a lot more as well but uh, that's all part of my indicator and same something like tesla today as well great day yes tesla did go up higher again these percent profit targets you can set in your indicator setting as well but then also i'll be adding a lot more customization adding new features like trailing stop losses but tesla performance as well over the last 15 days has been awesome here um you can see clearly yeah like only three red days out of 15 days so 12 days has been green and so on nvidia as well so lot information about on my bot is guys just reach out to me on discord very simple right i'm happy to answer any questions you have and right now my day trading bot is part of the silver membership and there's a yearly 40 percent discount also ongoing if you decide to join a yearly membership so you'll get a 40 percent discount as well just remember that mid of december my day trading bot will not be part of silver membership it will be a complete new membership a little bit higher than silver so if and that will contain you know other things as well but right now if you want to avail at a discounted price and at a lower price this is the time until 15th of december to join my silver membership and other indicators that you already know about my you know the universal uh, indicator that has all the automatic levels it marks for you and all that good stuff like short percent volume and all of that is part of my memberships as well and wall street real-time alerts on price targets upgrade downgrades insider trading news and sentiment that also is real-time access you will have under silver membership all right all that good stuff guys information is in the description below of this video there's a patreon link you can follow that you can even just reach out to me on discord if you have any questions and the link to my discord is also on the youtube channel Alrighty, let's start it off with nvidia for the price section so let's start off with the daily interval so we have what the price has been going up if you haven't seen my previous video on Nvidia that I did, that CNBC has summarized really well what's been happening with Nvidia. Check that video out, guys, on my channel. It summarizes really well everything. But here's we go for the price action. So we talked about after this flush of 476, expect the level of 50 days moving average. We got over there, we found support. I talked about $450 level is what you can expect that the price will come down to and may find a support here we'd have a support today and nvidia did go up stronger than expected for the day i was expecting as it was going up that it may just fill the gap and then may slow down but it went higher than that but hey all the gaps to the upside are filled now right there is no debating that hey nvidia has still more room to go up because there are gaps left so that theory is out of the question now however if you notice that we are still though on nvidia a lower high and a lower low this is still a lower low guys yes it's a rebound in the downtrend so let's jump to the hourly interval and let's draw those confluences together just so that you have better understanding of the things that's been ongoing here so we on nvidia today Pretty much at that level $450 that we talked about as we found support there. Um, so we went higher than 461 again. So I wanted to see a rejection over here actually 461. I wanted to when we saw this red candle I wanted it to continue to the downside actually that would have given us more confirmation on the intraday plays to the downside for tomorrow. But right now, price has broken above that. So let's talk about a little bit of change of 
direction that may we may have at least on intraday on uh, nvidia so let me draw this level out here for you guys first so this is a channel that nvidia is in so right now it's just hitting itself over at the overhead resistance of this area uh, of the channel right for where is it yeah 465 dollars now if we break out of it tomorrow you can expect nvidia to go up to 475 yes and that's where if i take you to the daily interval and 475 dollars is where our next level on daily interval is as well so that's the next resistance that we might potentially be then checking but yes 475 dollars may become a possibility as if we continue to break above this channel that nvidia on hourly interval is in all right so however if we continue to go lower tomorrow and we stay in this channel then what you need to be looking for is any break below 50 hours and so with 20 hours moving average as we break below this thing can again come down to mean reversion and 450. so you have the play to the both sides now on nvidia and just watch the levels that i just talked about in this video already well that's pretty much it guys with nvidia technical analysis let's now jump on to tesla so tesla what are we looking at with tesla so well we were talking about that if tesla breaks below now the level of 232 it's a downside it will not hold 200 days moving average which is this line over here however we saw today that it held that support at 20 and 50 days moving average and shot up. It did reject though at $246 level. Now let's actually draw that overhead resistance on Tesla that the channel that Tesla is has been in. And here we go. So this has been a pretty much a channel on Tesla and right now it's resisting that you know uh, here we go this overhead resistance right today also it rejected that um, but anyways now what are we expecting here well look if Tesla keeps holding above this 234 this ceiling will break and it will go to the upside because the more and more it keeps testing here that's a problem for the bears for the bulls it's a good sign now tomorrow is another key day on Tesla that if we continues to fall guys tomorrow we'll take a look at hourly interval in just a second then we have a problem on hand that breaking below 234 is again going to put tesla to the downside so today we did see some upside but tomorrow if we go up we gonna eventually break that overhead channel resistance now let me actually show you the something data on the short volume person again this is part of my indicator um, you have all the information on how to join so here's the thing guys tesla has been shorted heavily around this range 40 percent we even yesterday had 41 percent short volume come in so over this you know around the ceiling of this uh, channel we are seeing a huge resistance right now we are having a lot of short seller pile up here okay so as if we break above that channel that i'm talking about you can ex expect an explosion to the upside confirming that that happens so because all these short sellers will start covering them however if we can't break above it you can expect a huge massive downside volume come in and tesla will keep heading lower so it's an explosive move waiting to happen now on tesla guys that's the thing now today's short volume percent will come in after the post market so i will be able to check that because i have access to my indicator you know later at night and if you want this day-to-day -day access of the before going into the next day you want to see how the you know short volume has been coming all of this stuff right guys please feel free to have access to my indicator links are in the description below all right let me now turn that off and then we'll jump into hourly interval of tesla so let's go to the hourly interval here we go alrighty so what we have is tesla yes we did see a sell-off today in the post market as well it's just barely crawling its way up 
We break below 238, it's an intraday downside play. If we stay above 238, it's an intraday long play. It's very simple with intraday right now, Tesla. Not gonna make it complicated. And if I, I you know, as if we just break below guys this 233, that will put it below again, like 20, very close to 20 days moving average and then further below. So just be cautious and careful over there, okay? So just keep that in mind with Tesla. Well, easy peasy, all righty. Let's now take a look at QQQ and SPY, guys. So starting off with the daily interval. All right, QQQ is at a spot where it's finding that support at 20 days moving average. The play on it is pretty much, guys, it can come down to 373 if we break below 20 days moving average. We are seeing some momentum slowness here now. But anyways, um, it's only a downside play if we break below 20 days moving average on SPY or pretty much the level of 384 and 68 cents. Already, let's take a look at SPY. I just feel that SPY will start cooling off. Um, but again, you know, nothing is financial advice, guys, here. Do your own due diligence. I'm just providing educational content. As for technicals, what I'm seeing here for on the daily interval is that SPY is getting consolidated. We have started to have strength negative on four hours now on SPY. I would expect SPY once again, as if it, you know, I feel that SPY can come down to 438. You know, that's where the important price action will come again. But anyways, yes, I'm voting for the cool off to 438. We don't have a confirmation yet though, but I won't be trading anything around these levels. Once we start breaking below 20 days moving average and 451, you can expect confirmation continuation to the downside. Otherwise, break above 459 is an explosive upside on SPY. You can trade it intraday swing however you like, okay? Alrighty guys, well, this is all for this video. Let's take a look actually just hourly interval as well before we wrap up. And this is what I'm talking that it's just really getting consolidated and choppy here, right? Here's the thing with SPY. Even today, you can see that SPY started selling off, found support at 200 hours moving average. Yeah, we watched level of 455. Below it is a swing short play, or even intraday short plays. Confirmation is break below 200 hours moving average. But the level to watch is 455. Otherwise, for intraday play, break above 456 or even break above 450, yeah, 456 pretty much and 50 cents or so is a continuation to the upside. But 459, I would say is a, again, a retest of a strong level there. I feel like we will be going down because we are also forming a little bit head and shoulder here. I expect downside guys on SPY, okay? I gave you the levels, gave you the confirmation points on it. What are those levels you need to be watching? And that's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.